Many parents will be familiar with the old tale. You raise a child, a little miracle. You watch them grow, take their first steps, utter their first words. You're so full of pride, you couldn't love them more. Until one day, they get back from school, they reach into their little backpack, they look you square in the eye and they say, I need some help with my maths homework. If these eight words strike a fear in your heart like no other, this video is for you. It's no secret that many people's relationship with maths is not an entirely happy one. Three of the most common phrases uttered in adulthood might be, I'm tired, my back hurts, and I was rubbish at maths when I was at school. But if you have a young person in your care, it's time to let go of the past. Hearing you say, I was rubbish at maths, only reinforces the mistaken belief that ability in maths is binary. You're either good at it, or you're not. Not only is that not true, it's harmful. At the first sign of struggle, they're gonna put themselves in the rubbish pile and will perpetuate the cycle of unhappy relationships with maths. The only way to break the cycle is to show children that the two states are actually, I understand this concept, or I don't understand this concept yet. And here's where you can have a huge advantage over a maths teacher or someone who excelled at maths. You are going to be the living proof that just because you didn't grasp a concept the first time around, doesn't mean you won't grasp it this time around. There are many reasons why you didn't get on with maths. Maybe you have dyscalculia. Maybe maths anxiety stood in your way. Maybe your teacher didn't show you the methods that you needed to make it all clear. Or maybe you were just a kid and maths wasn't your biggest priority. But now you've got another chance and a really good incentive to try again. So, how do you do it? Well, firstly, don't aim to be your child's maths teacher. They've already got one of those. Instead, be their fellow student. Peer learning, or learning from other students, is a game changer, and it might be the most underutilised resource in the educational system. We learn so much by explaining concepts to each other, and it's the best way to discover the gaps in our own understanding. Whereas a teacher probably learnt the content they're teaching many years ago, and may have forgotten the plight of the beginner, you're still plighting that plight. You get why your child doesn't get it, because until recently you didn't get it either. But wait a minute, how are you going to get it? by using multiple sources. This does mean trying to stay a bit ahead of what your child is currently working on because you'll need time to fit in your own learning. It's no good diving into a topic for the first time if their homework is due in the morning. You should be able to get a copy of the curriculum that your child is following. So pick a topic that's coming up soon, read about it in a textbook if you have one, search on the internet, see what the wisdom of the web has to offer, watch a few videos on YouTube. In short, Muscle up. When your child hits the topic, the teamwork begins. Get them to explain to you what they've learned, then you explain to them what you've learned. Talk it through together, identify the challenges, try and relate it to something you already know. Anytime you can say, this is like something, you're strengthening the web of knowledge in your head, and it's that web that helps things stick in there for the long term, rather than fall out your ear the moment you move on to something new. But what if, after all that, you both still don't get it? ask for help. Remind yourself that you're doing great and that you don't have to shoulder the full responsibility of your child's education alone. Ask your child's teacher. Ask any teacher. The world is full of them and most of them really like to teach. Ask the internet. There are forums literally full of people who really like to share the things they know. Ask me if you want. By this point, with the work you've already put in, you've probably made a pretty good start and the chances are that it will just take a small helpful push to take you over the finish line. Just ask someone will push. Last but not least, enjoy it. The more you stress, the harder it gets. This is a journey into quite a magical world. Some things will make so much sense. Some things might make a bit less sense. Some things are going to open your eyes and some things will blow your mind. This is a chance for you and your child to bond, to do something together, to share the successes and the failures. There will be both. This is a chance for you to guide the course of their education while perhaps correcting the course of yours. But take your time with it. It may feel like you're always rushing towards something, but maths isn't just for homeworks or tests or exams, it's for life. And the things you learn together will serve you for the rest of your life. So have fun. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more maths tips and tricks. Let us know in the comments what part of the maths journey you're on with your child, how you're tackling it, and of course, if you need any help.